Chris Wen, who was first granted bail but refused to attend courts for trial. The courts disagreed with the defendants that he escaped out of the country when a retinue of armed soldiers allegedly invaded his ancestral home in Abia State. Meanwhile, the federal government had rearranged the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipok Namdekanu, on an amended six-count treasonable felony charge. The amendments came on a day. The child judge justice Binta Yako fixed to hear an application Kano found to be released in bail pending the determination of the charge against him. Reports say a member of Kano's legal team who craved anonymity says the federal government had in the amended charge listed some lawyers representing the Empato Raipo leader, including Ifai Ejofo and Max Olapara, as accomplices of the defendant. The government is was gathered, alleged that the said lawyers were constantly in contact with Kano after he jumped the bell and fled the country. Justice Binta Yako had on April 8 struck out 8 out of the 15 count treasonable felony charge preferred against Kano. Justice Yako held that the charges were mere repetitions that did not disclose any offense that could be sustained by the proof of evidence before the courts. In education, the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board JAM has announced that the board has no plans to conduct another UTME for the 2022 session warning candidates. They just concluded 2022 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination and other stakeholders to be wary of activities of fraudsters who are making false claims of errors in the scoring of candidates in the UTME. In a statement by its director of public relations, Fabian Benjamin, the board said that the UTME is a computer-based test that is scored electronically with no human mediation whatsoever, stressing that the unfounded rumors making the rounds are nothing but product of the deceitful brains of the masterminds of the baseless imputations. It added that the clarification became necessary following reports of a purported rescheduling of the TME from a section of the social media, citing phantom errors in the computer scoring system and a purported apology from JAM to the effect that another UTME would be organized. Back here. Akwaibum State's governor Udum Imano says he has put measures and structures in place to strengthen governance in local government administration in the states. Governor Imano says this were members of the senior executive course 44 from the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies visited him in his office said some of the measures include capacity building and mentoring programs for local government officials, expansion of road and all the infrastructure to rural areas, establishment of industries as well as renovation of some health facilities across the state. The governor, who was represented by the secretary to the state government's Dr. Emmanuel Akuem, maintained that the measures would only strengthen, would not only strengthen rather local governments, governance, but would also improve the living standard of rural dwellers to curb rural urban migration. West Africa is a part of it. So you are not in the wrong place. So the person that is in charge is keenly interested in making sure that governance impacts people. So good road network all go well for social integration and activity of the rural to the urban and rapid access to medical facilities. So road network, communication network, is indispensable as part of local governance. Earlier, the leader of the team, Richard Brigadier General Chukwe Meka Hudaya, had said the team was in a stage on a study tour with the theme Strengthening Local Gardens in Nigeria, Challenges, Options and Opportunities. But I applauded the state government on the industrialization of the state and level of infrastructural development, which he said would help to strengthen local government administration in the area. Away from that, some residents of Aka Road in your local government area, Kwaibum City, voiced out their grievances over the unavailability of power in the area. Speaking with Planet Steve, some residents of the affected area said they have been facing lack of power supply in the area. Lamented all the issues affecting 
please. Uh, Car Junction down to Akwe Street. It's up to a year interval now. We are lack of electricity. In fact, it's very, very sad. When it comes to the night time, we don't have light. Like market that we are selling. Some women that sell such water, it's hardly we find chill one. Light no day, I can't road you at all. Light no day. Okay, the system of my gen now nah, on like this. Light no just day. Tell the Nepal people go home at the end of the month. They will just come collect beer from us. Yeah, we will pay our bill and they no go give us light. See, if they are coming, they will bring you Amount of view, make it be this Saka road. No, like, oh, no, they get light for this Saka road. No, be so, you know, they pay never be low, they pay, but you know, they see light because, like, this our business, no, they too move because no light every time they burn fuel and they can fuel cause. Further speaking, they appeal to the state government to come to their aid and find a suitable and long lasting solution to power as it greatly affects their businesses, which serves as their income. And source of livelihood. To help us fix the lights. Please let the government of our uh, help us. government. In Ghana, we government. We are paying the bill, but we are government. Any same bar, we are going to be in our business. We are going to be in our business. Need government or the people where they in charge to do something because we suppose they get to thing we they pay for. So please, people where they in charge of lights for this Saka road, I beg, may they come help us. So make government and Nepal people help us. I beg. Recall that earlier this year, the state commission of applied petroleum development, Jonathan Hudson, the state government, had approved and procured the distribution of 470 transformers to 31 councils in the state. On our health news, people have been advised in court case the habit of seeking proper medical attention when experiencing signs and symptoms of asthma. Speaking with Planet News on the signs of asthma, a community pharmacist in Abba, Ududu Samuel, identified asthma as a respiratory condition that has to do with difficulty in breathing, which is connected to allergic reactions, noting that there is need for medical professionals to inform the public on the ways of managing asthma to reduce and prevent asthma attacks. Odo to stress that people should do away with the myth around asthma and get proper medical care. Rise as a respiratory condition and is also marked by attacks of, of spasms in the bronchi of the lung, causing difficulty in breathing. It is usually connected to allergic reactions or other forms of hypersensitivity. I believe the medical professionals to update the new trend in the management of asthma. Closing the gap because information is everything. When you are better informed about your condition, you can manage your condition for life. Further speaking, with our correspondent Udo Isaiah, Udo said that there are numbers of gaps in asthma care which require intervention in order to reduce preventable suffering as well as the cost incurred by treating uncontrolled asthma. Adding that a condition has no cure, therefore, one must be attentive to its signs and symptoms in order to manage the attack properly. Sometimes you can have this very dry cough and it is always advisable. Please, if you have this condition, it's always better you go about with your inhaler. It can prove to be your lifesaver. When it comes to the management of asthma, it is always advised that you speak to your medical personnel who will choose the best plan of therapy for you. We can have more opportunities when medical personnel can use this medium to speak to as many people as possible. Even the discrimination that comes with it. Civil societies can also take this up and educate the public. We call that Global Initiative for Asthma had urged international respiratory communities to work together with colleagues, patients and health care providers to identify and close the gaps in asthma care and to help implement and share innovative solutions locally and globally. You're listening to the news on Planet Radio 101.1 FM, you're listening to Ibiza. And then bring more stories from our foreign sports and entertainment scenes. Just stay with us. Locked in core values. Planet 101.1 FM. Uyo. Thanks for staying with us now. On the foreign scene in Finland and Sweden today handed in their bids to join the US led alliance NATO after Russia's invasion of Ukraine and at decades of military non alignment. The membership push could represent the most significant expansion of NATO in decades, doubling its border with Russia. 
and President Vladimir Putin has warned it may trigger a response from Moscow. But the applications face resistance from NATO member Turkey, which is threatened to block them over accusations the Nordic neighbors act as safe havens for armed groups opposed to Ankara. Helsinki, Stockholm, and the other Western allies remain optimistic they can overcome Turkey's objection. NATO ambassadors are expected to discuss the applications today and could give the green light on opening formal talks with the pair on their beats. Several NATO allies, most notably Britain, have offered security assurances, assurances rather, to Finland and Sweden during the application period before they are covered by the alliance's mutual defense pact. In sports, Super Eagles trials, Joseph Aradele Aribo, Leon Balogan and Calvin Basu look to help Glasgow Rangers win the UF Europe League when they take in Bundesliga club entering Frankfurt in the final at the Estadio Roman sanchez Bequine, Seville today. Rangers last won the European title 50 years ago and the trial has the chance to be a part of history. The victory over Russian outfits Dynamo Moscow in 1972 was achieved in Spain at the magnificent Estadio Cup now in Barcelona, so perhaps the Rangers have fate on their side. The Jazz will also be coming up against the German opposition for the third time in the competition this season. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst's side defeated highly fancy Borussia Dortmund in the round of 32 and knocked out RB Leipzig in the semi-final. Now on the incident in Nigerian gospel artist Jonathan Ibeque, better known as Messi Biga, has urged the Nigerian government to prioritize the education of children to enable them to fulfill their destiny. He made this statement during a press conference in respect of the launching of his forthcoming album, Mwaka, meaning children, on May 27th. Speaking during the conference, Mr. Bigger said it was being a divine call to be the voice of children, adding that children's welfare should be given adequate attention. It has been the news on Planet Radio 101.1 FM. But before we go, a recap of the major stories. In the news, we told you Justice Binta Yako of the Federal High Court in Abuja has refused to admit the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, Namdi Kanu, to bail. We also brought the news that the Aquabum seeds Gapno Doimano said says he has put measures and structures in place to strengthen governance in local government administration in the state. Some residents of Aka Road in your local government area of Aquabum State have voiced out their grievances over the unavailability of power in the area. On the foreign scene, we told you that Finland and Sweden today handed in their bids to join the US-led alliance NATO after Russia's invasion of Ukraine and that decades of military non-alignment. And his sports reporter that Super Eagles trial Joseph Ayadele Aribo, Leon Balogan and Calvin Bassi will look to help Glasgow Rangers win the UEFA Europe League when they're taken Bundesliga club entering Frankfurt in the final at the Estadio Roman sanchez Bequine Seville today. For comments and coverage of news world events, call on news one zero two one two seven seven zero two nine. Four zero that is zero two two seven seven zero two nine four zero. Visit our website on Planet One One FM. That's NG. Follow us on Twitter at Planet Underscore One One FM. You can also like our verified Facebook page at Planet One One FM. Oh, yo, the news was edited by Jane. Who oh, was you and the news was member. You're never born to fit in, but to stand out. So do your best always and watch God elevate you. I am bright. James, good afternoon and thank you for listening.